Hi guys, Sue here. I already tried to do this once and apparently my video didn't work out. So I'm gonna do another one. Really quickly, um, my garden gnome, Spike, this little dude. Um, as you can see, he's super adorable. Anyways, he's really cute, super, super easy to make. Um, I started a video earlier and what should have only taken me 15, 20 minutes took me an hour and a half because I had customers come in. Anyways, I did record myself earlier making him a wife. And so here is his wife. Um, she's got braids. So that video didn't work out. So now I'm going to make, <laughs> I'm not a professional video person. So now I'm going to make them a little child, <clears throat> a smaller version of the big guy. Um, so what you're going to do exact same thing, just more clay. This is literally like half a pound of clay. If that I'm going to take a chunk of clay and make a, um, coil. Okay, so for him, I would make, for the big ones, I would make my coil about 12 inches long, but I'm making a child, so I'm going to make a smaller dude. And <clears throat> you can see it's fatter at one end, thinner at the other. Um, so I've just concentrated on rolling at this end to create his small side. So there's pretty easy, about an inch thick, maybe about the size of my thumb, a little bit, and then into a little point okay pretty easy if you have any bumps smooth them out same way you do everything uh, I use slip my slip is made out of half water half vinegar just because I like to smell like french fries all day no I just like the fact that vinegar makes clay stick a little bit better than just plain water does um, so yeah I am just creating my little spike. It's okay if it's a little bumpy. Um, what you want to make sure you don't have is a bunch of cracks so that they don't go um, soft and break. Okay. So I've got that. What you would do with this part is you would flip it over and on the back here, you would write your customer's name. I'm just going to write sample. Sample. So that I know it's a sample. And then uh, I'm going to make him a boy gnome so that you can see how easy he is to make. You're going to take a chunk for his clay or for his beard. You're going to smoosh it out. It's really, really easy. If you don't have a um, slab roller, it's not vitally important that you do. Um, so I'm just flattening a little piece. If you can see that, it's just flat uh, of clay. And I like to use a couple of different tools. This is my fancy smancy cutter. It is a skewer. I also make my own cutters, if you can see them. It is, my pin tool is literally a darning needle in an eraser, because I'm cheap. And I'm gonna use that to kind of cut a smile out of the top, so it looks like it bit was bit, okay? And then you can shape his beard a little bit more. Yes, this is his beard. I'm gonna give him a roughly beard. And for a little old, little son dude, he's gonna have a lot of beard. So that's his beard. And I'm just gonna texturize it by taking my pin tool. <coughs> Excuse me, my pin tool or my skewer. And I'm just gonna run a bunch of lines down it just like that for texture okay and you can get fancy with it if you'd like and that's all I'm doing okay I'm going to on the back of this put a couple of little scratches on the front of his head here I got a couple of scratches my fancy dancy brush Smooshing back here with some slip and right there with some slip and my beard is probably way too big for my gnome but that's okay all right he's gonna have a big beard and that's all that's gonna be about that okay so there is his beard attached super easy so far right you got this <clears throat> then 
Normally you probably wouldn't pick it up as much if you're making it for yourself, but I'm making it for a video, so I'm picking it up a lot. Nose. Going to give him a good size. No, not that big of a nose. Maybe about the size of a olive, small olive, grape. Maybe a little grape or a cherry. A cherry. A cherry. Okay, so making it into a circle. And then I'm going to just oblong it a little bit so it's a little bit long. And the top, I like to kind of pinch into a teardrop shape. And then the back part, the part that's going to attach, I actually take it and just tap it down a couple of times. So it flattens this back part, makes it easier to add on to your little dude. Some scratching, some scratching where you're going to attach it. A little bit of slip, a little bit of slip. Put it on. Okay, if you want to give him a mustache, I would recommend you do that underneath his nose. So I've attached his nose, okay? Um, what I like to do at the top here where it attaches, I just kind of squish it up a little bit so that it, it makes a really good joint on there. Okay, so he doesn't look like a gnome yet. Well, he kind of does, but you see where we're going with this. Okay. So his beard, his nose, we just need a hat. This is way too much clay for his hat, but I'd rather have too much than have to try and add on. So I'm just going to squish. If you don't have a um, slab roller, just use a, um, well, I'm gonna close it because I'm gonna end up with slip everywhere. Rolling pin. And just roll it out about a quarter inch. Okay, maybe a little bit less. And I am, like I said, probably got way too much here. I know I have way too much here for how big I'm gonna make it. There we go. Okay, so little disc of clay, slab, flat, okay. You're gonna cut it almost like um, a cone. And first, before I do that, you should compress it. A fancy dancy tool, it's called a half of a gift card. And I just compress, thank you for, thank you to Brie, uh, Kathman who has taught me this and she is a rock star. She is a clay goddess and I love her. So anyway, <laughs> I digress. I am going to smooth compress both sides, take off my excess. <coughs> Excuse me, tickle in my throat. And now I have a compressed piece. And I'm going to cut it kind of like, um, it's like a cone, but it's like scooped at the bottom. It's like a baseball diamond. And if you hear that noise, that is my next door neighbor is a dry cleaner. And their dry cleaning thingy spins and they find people's clothing. And I hear that day in, day out. Anyway, so baseball diamond ish. Okay, I don't play baseball, and that's obvious. <laughs> um, okay, so then this I'm just going to roll it up into a cone, and then where it overlaps, I'm gonna <clears throat> open. Okay, so where it overlaps, right there. Just put a little bit of slip. That's it, don't need much. And overlap it. And then I'm gonna take my fingers, I'm gonna keep my one finger inside here, and my other hand I'm gonna use to mush that down. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just taking this and mushing it down. Okay, I'm trying to keep my fingers in there so that it keeps this hole open for my gnome head to go in. At the top, it doesn't much matter. I'm just gonna close it all anyway. But I'm just trying to get rid of that line where it joins, okay? So I'm just getting rid of that seam. Using my fingers, smoothing it out. And then you can see it's got this weird little shape here. You can use your pin tool. Something I often use is just scissors and just cut it. You didn't see that for me, okay? <laughs> so 
So I've got my nice little hat here. And then if you want the edges to be a little rumpily, you can do that too. I like to flare it out a little bit. So it's like a comb. And then the top you can always bend. If you're bending it, what I recommend is make sure your fingers are wet so that you don't stress your clay out. Um, and I just have my fingers smoothed up with water. And I'm gonna bend this little guy opposite to what his parents are. So smoothing and bending. Okay, there. And that's his little hat. Pretty easy, right? Then, I don't know why I just did that. Then I am going to add his hat onto him. And to do that, I am going to take a little bit of slip, sloop it inside, swoosh it in, so that it makes it a little bit muddy and sticky in there. <clears throat> and you're going to just put it on his head and give him a little squeeze right around where it touches. You can feel it. Okay. And you're just uh, smooshing it on. Pretty easy right and then you lay him flat and then you can do any little decorations on him that you would like uh, if you want to add any little buttons onto his hat uh, I did a heart on her hat and a heart necklace hanging down from her him I did two little flowers this little guy I think I'm gonna give him a button and I'm gonna do that by just taking a little this is way too much clay that's way too much clay, like a pea size amount, shoving it down into a circle. And then I'm going to take, hmm, what am I going to take? I have a whole bunch of these little tools that I got from, where did I get these from? The dollar store actually, Dollar Dollarama here in Canada. I'll take this little, nope, that one's too big. Uh, I'll take this little guy right here it's just a little spiky thing and I'm gonna put his four little buttonholes in him and then we'll spin 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 okay so there's my buttons you could also if you have buttons imprint a button into that I don't have any buttons in my store I don't know why well I probably do I actually had a big basket of them somewhere and we moved and they disappeared so now I have to start my button collection over again. So I'm scratching and I'm gonna attach it. And I'm gonna attach it there. Give it a little push on. And there he is in all his glory. Okay, super, super easy to make. Uh, you'll just lay him flat <clears throat> like that and let him dry. And then the customer can come back Ah, message from the dark side there is. Sorry, that's apparently Dana Manello just uh, sent me a message and uh, it was a message from the dark side according to my phone. Anyway, um, yeah, so he's super, super easy. Just let him sit there and dry. I'm doing a set of two uh, for $25. You saw that little ball of clay that I got started off with, which was about a half a pound and I still have that much left of it. So... It's super easy to make, um, don't stress about it. And then have the customer come back. In my experience, the, um, when you have the customer come back, they never come back alone. They always come back with a friend uh, to paint it. So, uh, or their family members, and then they let their kids paint while they're painting their gnomes, and it leads to further sales. So, and I also think it looks better. And that's all I got to tell you. Okay. I uh, hope you have some happy gnome making. You can put a band around his hat if you'd like. Um, you can add arms if you're so inclined. But I am I am not so inclined. I'm just going to ripple his head a, head a little bit. I like it with a little bit of ruffle. Um, and that's, that's gnome making 101. Hope you have a great, um, fantastic gnome season. And we'll see you soon. Bye.